Hi, this is Michael Rubin, and so far we've figured out the names of the notes in the C major scale and where they are on the C harmonica, so here that is. And we figured out a rhythm uh, progression that you can get your uh, rhythm guitarist friends or anybody who plays rhythm to play for you. And the idea was that we picked a rhythm progression that works well with this scale using the 1, 4, and 5 major chords from the C major key and C, F, and G, that is, 1, 4, and 5, respectively. And so we're about to jam, but before we do, let's think about it like a harmonica player and, and take what I call inventory. And so what we're going to do, you know, a lot of harmonica players, they don't really think about the note E, they think about the, the whole two below. So we're going to kind of think about it in terms of holes. What holes are in this scale? So let's think about the blow notes without bending. What, uh, what notes are in the scale? So, one blow is C, two blow is E, four blow is C, so we're missing three blow. Five blow, six blow, seven blow, eight blow, nine blow, ten blow, they're all in the scale. So, a lot of my students, when I ask them, what, are there any blow notes without bending that aren't in the scale, they'll say, three blow is not in the scale. And I'll say, really? What is the name of the note in three blow? C, E, G. Oh, G. Is there, are you trying to tell me there's no G in the C major scale? Because my C major scale goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And they'll say, oh, you're right, there is a G. So that means three blow is in the scale. But we didn't write it down. We chose to write down two draw, because one of the things I'm trying to teach you is that most professionals prefer the tone of whole two draw most of the time and use three blow as a way to uh, deal with some difficult licks that would be made much easier logistically if you played three blow instead of two draw. But tonally, most pros prefer two draw. And a lot of intermediates prefer three blow. And if you're, if you're focusing on three blow, you may want to consider that to a professional's ear, it's one of the tells that you're more of an intermediate player. So, you know, and I'm sure there are pros who are going to disagree with me. I mean, Sonny Boy Williamson, number two, Rice Miller, one of the best harp players who ever lived, did a lot of three blow. He did a lot of two draw as well. Um, so, three blow is in the scale, and that means every blow note is in the scale. And this is very good news because it means that. If you're playing first position, the key of C on a C harmonica, or the key of G on a G harmonica, etc., and it's a major song, that you can play any blow note you want at any time, and you're going to sound good. So if you're feeling lost, blow. Let's look at the draw notes. Without bending, are there any draw notes that are not in the C major scale? Well, the draw notes are D, G, B, D, F, A, B, D, F, A. They're all in the scale. That's good news. That means you can play any draw notes at any time, and you're going to sound good. So, without bending, you can play anything on the harmonica at any time, and you're going to sound good. Now, some of you out there have been playing harmonica for a while, but you're trying to solidify your theory, and you're like, you know... I already knew all this stuff. But what I want you to think about is I'm not really talking about the C major scale. I'm talking about a method towards using writing out the scales to think about how it relates to physically playing the harmonica with the harmonica holes. So the idea is you figure out what the scale that you want to use is, you find that scale on your harmonica, you think about what blow notes are in the scale and what blow notes are not in the scale, what draw notes are in the scale and what are not in the scale, and then later the bends and the overblows, and you make an inventory so you can say, you know, in this song, in the key of G major, I don't want to play an F note because there's no F in the key of G major, so I'm going to avoid 5 draw and 9 draw. Okay, So I'm teaching you a method, not really teaching you about the C major scale. But let's continue with the C major scale. Let's talk about the bends. What bends are in the scale? 
Now you notice when I looked at the blow notes and the draw notes, I said what notes are not what holes are not in the scale. That's because there were going to be very few holes that were not in the scale. But there's really only a few bends. So what I do with bends is I say what bends are there. So two double bend is F, three double bend is A, and ten single bend is B. Now I don't know about you, but unless I'm on a very low pitched harmonica like a G, A flat, or an A. 10 single bend is a bear. Okay, that, that is just hard to play. So, I generally tend to avoid it. So basically, on a C harp, the bends that I'm using are 2 double and 3 double. Now if I go to a lower harp, I may choose to hit that B note. Okay? Now, so what I've got is all the blow notes, all the draw notes, 2 double and 3 double. There are no overblows that are going to be in the C major scale. So, let's uh, give me a second to toggle over to my other computer where I've got uh, a rhythm track. <coughs> there it is. So remember, this progression goes C, C, F, F, C, C, G, G, C, C, F, F, C, G, C, G. And every one of those letters refers to a bar with four beats. So four taps of your foot for each one of those letters. You could also play this in any key by thinking of it as 1-1-4-4, So I'm going to press play, and I'm going to do some jamming. So first I'm going to do some blowing. some drawing. Now both. Now some bends. play a note out of the scale. I'm going to do six bend into six draw, but I'm going to do that bend very quickly. Sounds pretty good, right? Now it's not a note that's in the scale. Six bend is the note A flat. That is not in the C major scale. But I'm doing it very quickly. I hit it and I get off of it, and when I get off of it, I move to another note that is in the scale, and that's a great trick. To play a note that's not in the scale, and quickly move from it to a note that's in the scale. So that's kind of tension release, okay? But, you know, you have to be careful how much tension you give people. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some quick six bends, and then I'm going to hang on it, and watch what happens. about you, but the quick ones I like very much, and the long one I liked a little bit. It was pretty cool for a while. And then it started to get a little stressful, and a lot of tension, and I kind of wished I was stopping it, and the audience probably did too. They were like, come on, that note's not in the scale, this doesn't feel good. So, sometimes you can intentionally choose to do that, to create a lot of tension. Playing a note outside of the scale always creates some tension. Playing any note other than the root note, if you're in the key of C, the note C is releasing, but every other note has some tension. But the notes that aren't in the scale have a lot of tension, right? And so you can choose how long do you hang on it, and sometimes hanging on it for a long time is an intentional move to, you know, 
get the audience listening and get them, you know, oh my God, that's so annoying. I, uh, uh, and, but they're paying attention. Or they're having a feeling. They're having a reaction. So it's up to you how much you want to play within the scale and without of the scale. But to be aware of what's within or without of the scale. And also to be aware of, you know, who you're trying to please. <laughs> you know, if you're just having fun by yourself, you can play anything you want. You know, for me, certain bands, I'm encouraged to get more avant-garde and do things that are out of the scale. Other bands, I'm being paid to really play the scale and just play music that will be pleasing to the audience. And, you know, so I've got to make a decision how much I care about pleasing the people who are in the audience or who are paying me <laughs> and, and play appropriately. Okay, so now I'm going to press play and let it run for around three verses and this is your time to jam, so get your C harp and check it out. F C G C F C G C G one, four, one, five, one, four, one, five. One, five, Okay, so uh, next time, G major scale on a C harmonica or a cross harp on any harmonica. And uh, let me just toggle back to where I can turn off the video. Come on, toggle. There we go. <laughs> All right, see you soon.